so we're leaving Bruni Island. Yeah. Did a sunrise, um, or did the sunrise this morning at the neck, which was absolutely awesome way yeah. to start the day. Me and just happened to wake up and was like, hello. <laughs> I'm like, hello, I'm still asleep, but it was really worth it. Really good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're just catching the uh, Bruni Ferry back now to uh, Kettering, and then we'll head to a place called Waya Tinna, um, Lakeside Caravan Park for a night where we can uh, basically fill up on water, uh, sort of reorganise, probably do a wash, all those fun things. Well, and... sure. It's been ages since we've just, we've only done one night. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of how we started the trip um, at when we were trekking out central Queensland. We were doing one, two, maybe three nights would be yeah. <laughs> like a maximum. But um, yeah, so that'll kind of. We've sort of learned to, um, I guess. Yeah, it's like what's a rush sort of thing. We've got we've got an opportunity to really enjoy it, so we sort of um, yeah try and do four or five nights at a place, really explore it and can relax. And, and that way we're not setting up, setting down, setting up, you know, packing up. Yeah. It's probably been one of our biggest learnings. Yeah. Um, was just yeah take the time and yeah don't underestimate how taxing it can be to be constantly on the move as well. Like you really want to enjoy and see where you are. Um, so yeah, just enjoy it. Yeah, yeah definitely. Slow it down is probably the best idea. Yeah, we are in a slight rush now though because we're leaving <laughs> Tassie um, in yeah. two weeks, just under two weeks. Um, yeah, so that's really yeah. kind of why we're trekking it over to the west coast. But fortunately, uh, you know, Tassie's only a small state, yeah. so we should be able to kind of tick off the last the few things that we want to do over that side. Yeah. yeah. So we got a plan uh, for the next few days, just because obviously we're on limited time. So did a little plan out for that, and um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Yeah. Gotten up, beds made. Um, that's the start. <laughs> we just um, hopped up and done some coffees. Um, yeah. Got some coffee and we're just going to head out and um, take a look around the lake. Uh, there's nothing too tricky about it, just biscuits and a bit of yoghurt. Um, she's getting eggshells because we're having the eggs today. Um, eggshells are fine and give dogs. Uh, and. Yeah, and the other thing we do is if we cut up like carrots or whatever else, we'll give her the ends of the bits so we try and not waste anything basically. She loves it. try and do some trout fishing. I don't really have the right gear set up, um, but supposedly dusk is prime time to do it when all the bus bugs come out. So we'll just see how we go and give it a crack. So I've been at it for about uh, two hours, I think. Um, I've tried different different types of tackle, everything I've sort of got in the box, but uh, they're just jumping around me. Can't get any trout. I don't have the right gear. That's that's my excuse. Um, yeah, but it's bloody beautiful out here. So peaceful and quiet. I'm the only one on the lake. Um, so I'll just flip it around and you have a look. So just down there, um, 
is the dam. Uh, so it's dam to, oh God, not even sure, what Waitella, Waitella, Waitilina. Uh, it's a dam. Um, and yeah, it's just stunning. So I've got a fair bit of kayaking to do because I've, I've um, gone downstream and uh, the wind's just picked up so I'm going against it now which will be fun but good exercise so <laughs> before it gets too dark and I get eaten alive by the mosquitoes. Um, yeah, no luck today. I'll probably try in the morning again, give it a crack, see what uh, things I can Google and little tips and ideas to try. Uh, hopefully Amanda's cooked me some dinner because <laughs> uh, I'm not bringing any home. <laughs> So we're just up the top of, I don't know, no. we're up the top of Queenstown, um, you can't really see it from here but it's down the back there, uh, and it's some yeah, rain, we've, rainy weather. We've definitely hit the west coast, that's for sure, it's yep. um, super windy, so green and then yeah, it just started raining as we are coming through. Um, the national park area, like like St Clair, we did it. Um, we've driven through it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just. I mean, it's, cool. it's just a, a, the steepest drop right off here. Um, yeah, can't really show you because it's so misty. We'll flip it around, see what you can actually see, but hopefully get something. You can see there's already a small waterfall happening just off the rocks here. That's. Queenstown just down there. Nick's just doing a quick wee off the <laughs> On the side of the cliff. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Day because it's not morning anymore. <laughs> Good we slept afternoon. in. We did. We had a big day yesterday and um, had a few drinks. <laughs> no, I wanted to sleep in. And it was quite chilly this morning where we're staying at the Strand Golf Club. Um, it's only 10 bucks a night. Um, it was packed yesterday when we got in. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, probably recommend arriving early. Um, and tip for young players, as you go in and right down the end near uh, like a roundabout area, there's a little driveway and it's a hidden spot. Um, and we thankfully got told about it and I had to buy the guy a beer because yeah. he saved us. <laughs> he wasn't so, shy yeah. about it either. He's like, you can awesome. buy me a beer later. <laughs> Which I was happy to do because yeah. it, it was a great spot. So, yeah. And no one, you know, people obviously were there, the source driving around, no one said anything except for when we drove back out and we were sit there, sitting there deliberating over yep. you know, what, next? what to do and it wasn't an, if it wasn't for that bloke, you know, we would have had a bit of a yeah. crappy afternoon. Yeah, so thanks mate, wherever you are. Yeah, hope you enjoyed your Coopers, totally. <laughs> oh, no, he looks stuck. <laughs> so yeah, slow morning this morning. Um, we're in Strand. And we've just come down to Hogarth Falls Walk. Uh, yeah, I'll just show you a bit of this right now because it's, it's stunning actually. So, take a ninja out for the day. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, it's only 40 minutes return and it's obviously dog friendly. It's not conservation area or anything So they're welcome on lead 40 minutes is good for Ninja <laughs> Then she can have a little break in the car and we're gonna drive um, down to the Esplanade and maybe walk along there And that is honestly that's probably her done. <laughs> yeah, she'll be sleeping for the rest of the day <laughs> yeah. uh, One question we do often get asked when traveling with a dog is around national parks um, we get asked, you know, if we kind of admit, feel like we're missing out. Um, obviously, Ninja can't go into any national parks. And no, <laughs> I don't feel that yeah, way. Yeah, not hugely. Like, we, we get to do a lot of um, state forests and stuff, which allow dogs on leads. Um, and I think, I think for some of the national parks, like, uh, I guess one would be Uluru when we look at that. And, um, yeah, so the big ticket ones where we really want to do them, um, I'll put Ninja into a good kennel for a day or two when can it really experience it. Um, but yeah, we haven't haven't regretted doing this at all. There's loads awesome. of state forests or some of the conservation areas in Tassie. You can have dogs on leads in certain spots. They're signed really well. Yep. But um, even just, I mean, look at walking trails like this, which aren't conservation or anything, and they're just beautiful. Um, so we still get to do plenty of outdoor stuff. It's, um, we went to, yeah, we did Freysnay National Park, but we were only yep. there for a couple of hours. Yeah, we took, lunch. yeah, so we took Nidra out in the morning, tied her out, and then... She was sleeping um, while we were out. Yeah, it was nice and cool for her, and she was fine, so, yeah. So Nick's desperate to see a koala. We haven't seen one yet. But every time we go through a place that's got big gum trees this is what he's done <laughs> I'll find one day yeah and we haven't seen a wombat um, so I would love to see a wombat before we leave Tassie yeah we've seen echidnas um, yeah we've seen a couple of echidnas now yeah rescued you... one from the road yeah which is awesome um, so I got him off the highway um, and yeah seen tiger snake um, what else? Yeah. Plenty Some, um, of panda melons. Panda melons. <laughs> I love that word, panda melon. There's such random things. They're just... Uh, quolls. Oh, yeah. For yeah the... Spotted quoll that got stuck in our Weber. Yeah. A quoll. Trying to get some quoll food. Quollgate 2020. I've been walking east Looking for something Digging deep Since nine What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all along. I think it's time for me to go burn all bridges. All I know, I got lost along the way. on um, the whole national park discussion 
The national parks aren't going anywhere. Well, we hope not anyway, <laughs> for a really long time. Um, so I think when it comes down to you making a choice, if you take your dog on the lap or not, um, for us, there's never any question. Um, you know, I, I know it sounds really morbid, but your dog isn't here forever. Um, so if it's something that you enjoy doing, is traveling with your dog and having your dog around and they're part of your family, then um, yeah, I'd really strongly suggest you, um, you know, think about it and we'd encourage you to take them along with you. I definitely think uh, bring your dog along. It, it's been awesome for us. Like we've, we've loved it. So, you know, each your own, do what you want to do. Um, but for us, it wasn't really a choice and we're super happy we've done it. It's not a moment we regret it. Um, there's times where I annoys me, <laughs> but um, I don't regret it. No, it's absolutely awesome. We've we've loved every minute of it. So yeah, and look, dogs are dogs. No dog is totally perfect. They each have their own little personalities and their their yeah. um, behaviours and their traits, and yeah, mine, you can easily work around most of them. I mine talk takes on brown snakes and <laughs> she likes eats to eat rat things. bait and all the worst things. So yeah. You'll be right. Yeah, you'll be right. Have a toast for those lost old eyes And my crooked little heart That seems so rebellious Is falling apart right now I'm bleeding I'm easy kid Don't leave it all behind I think it's time Hopefully you see this video eventually, otherwise it means I'm still floating on the dam. <laughs>